worth staring at. The elevators can take you to one of the many- Enjoy your visit to the Trade Tower! You see any heat leeches? You've got our permission to take care of them. Things are dangerous in here. Get lost. I have a job to do. like to hitch your wagon to us. That's right. The Mickey Caviar is in the market for a job. Always nice to meet a fan. You must be familiar with my widely acclaimed food column. Unfortunately for you, the rest of my fit. Just my luck. Hello. I'm looking to join a crew. Any openings? Hey! It's... Hey. I'm looking for work. You hiring? Suit yourself. Yeah, you're new here, aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink, but if you're here for something a little more exciting, Not at the Astral Lounge, but in fact, this is the only place authorized to sell. And once you buy it, you can use it anywhere in the Neon that you'd like. And what are we waiting for? Here, and take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie, the Aurora is a... Pretty amazing, isn't it? That's Borealis, only 19 years old, and yet she produces some of the most heart-pounding, trippiest electronic music you've ever... I don't know where she gets her inspiration, but... I'm betting all that free... Or... Oh, Ben and I are good friends. <laughs> he personally gave me the job. Oh, he's a good man. He cares a lot about the citizens of Neon, making sure they're all employed and well taken care of. That depends on if you're hungry. All right, well, I've got a couple of specialties of the house. First, there's our best seller, Sangria Astral, which is a... But if your palate is a bit more refined, we have our... That enough? Of course, of course. Excellent choice. The Sky Suite offers luxury and sophistication you won't find anywhere. And since you'll be living in the same tower as the Astral Lounge, all of its pleasures and pageantry are only... Of course. The Sky Suite features an open design. Whether you prefer the morning sky or a neat... How unfortunate. Sure.
Come back soon. so important that you need to interrupt my busy schedule. Not that it's any of your business, but yes. Actually, there are a lot of perks that come with the job. But do you want one snap of my finger and people who ask too many questions? I wouldn't normally bother with idle chatter, but that's such a ridiculous question. I don't own Neon. Neon is the property of Xenofresh Fisheries, of which I just happen to be the CEO and the major majority stakeholder. Now, if you'd care to take a moment to dissect that statement in your tiny little mind, I... Well, that was riveting. Even imagine how many people ask for an autograph or picture after we've been modding all night. Huh. 
<sighs> yeah, you're right. My music slate's gone. Completely vanished. I had all of my new songs figured out on that thing. And so... Oh man. Wow. I thought I sensed a decent aura around you when you... Songs, lyrics, poems, all of my thoughts, basically. It's not like I can just rewrite everything. Some of those moments of inspiration. Hey, don't worry about it. If you find that new six late, I'll shunt. Oh, and if you're looking for a lead, talk to Micah. She works the bar at Euphorica. And she... Anyway, I got to figure out how I'm going to mod my next set. Hmm. Well, most of the people who come through here are fans. And they're either zoned, or just digging. That leaves collectors, competitors, or just a thief trying to make a cred. People try to put a price on everything. Doesn't matter if it's me. If that price is big enough, you start attracting people with bad vibes. And it's only a matter of time before you... Oh yeah, absolutely. It allows me to step away from myself for a while and harmonize with the universe. There's music out there, you know. If you listen, the trick is not getting hooked on that feeling. I got close to that state a few times, but the reality and respond. See you on the flip. I see you wearing that Muro app. Don't try and have that mind control voodoo on you. Pal. I don't like the look of you. You have a question, you can chat with the receptionist all you want. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. I'm afraid we aren't. We're only taking meetings with our preferred clients at the moment. Hoping to get a meeting? I've been waiting all day. It's, it's ridiculous. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Not paid to talk. Hey, no funny stuff with that boost pack. Got enough flight traffic as it is. Hello, how can I assist you today? Xenofresh is the best place to work in Neon, hands down. The pay is good, the hours are respectable, and the company...
We're fortunate that Administrator Bayou dedicates his time and... The Free Star Collective has given Xenofresh Fisheries the sole right to fish chasm bass and use it to produce Aurora. If you care to sample some yourself, we have it for sale at the famous Astral Lounge. Although Aurora is our flagship product, we all... It was nice talking with you. What? I'm working here. Are you gonna let me work, or are you gonna keep bothering me? If you're looking for Aurora, you're in the wrong place. Try the Astral Lounge. Is this really necessary? I have to be somewhere important. Hm. You're not a plate of cos- If you aren't delivering the food that I ordered, then why don't you- That foolish girl up front must have allowed you back here. I'm going to have to- Look, I'm really quite busy. If you're not here on Xenofresh business, I'm going to- My name's Libby Graf, and I am the CFO of Xenofresh Fish- and since I answer directly to Administrator Bayou, I hope the last thing I need right now are more protests and complaints to deal with. Everything under the sun, from unfair business practices to reported bad working conditions to the price of Aurora. We're the number one most successful corporation on Neon, so we're obviously a huge target of opportunity for slander and false accusations. Everyone's looking for a free handout or a tiny piece of the massive success that we've accomplished. Well, I'll tell you the same thing I tell them before I have them escorted out. It's not going to happen. I have a hundred things to do and you're number 101 on my list, so if you'll excuse me. Working at Xenofresh is a... I'm in the middle of some quarterly earnings analysis. Our office is open. Just try to keep interruptions to a minimum. This is a Stroud Eklund business offices. We don't do sales here, if that's what you're looking for. I do like visitors, but Stroud... Oh, I'm afraid I'm always in the middle of preparing for the next board meeting. <laughs> if you'll excuse me. Well, I should hope so. <laughs> Originally, both the Stroud and the Eklund corporations made consumer goods. Anything and everything a person could want. But after my husband and I married and merged the companies, we decided to make our mark on interstellar travel. And now the brand is nearly synonymous with starships. I st Oh, interesting question. Neon is the ultimate playground for people who have money. And that means we exhaust ourselves sabotaging each other. It's fun, but a huge waste. Stroud Eklund, as a company, doesn't believe in restraint. But sometimes, I wonder if Neon's lack of a moral authority isn't hurting everyone. Even us. Back off. That's an order, not a suggestion. Save it for someone who gives a damn. I'm not in the mood. If you want to... I don't have time for this. Talk to my secretary if you need something. Are you supposed to be here? It's an honor to be a part of the Stroud Ekran team. If you're here to buy, I'm afraid we only sell direct to retailers. Again? Look, you can tell Mr. Okaribo that I'm doing everything I can. Blood from a stone, if you'll pardon the expression. Oh, my lord. You aren't here about Mr. Okaribo's debt to Kelcor. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Let me start over. 
My name's Clover McKenna, but you can call me Chloe. I'm not sure. I think he's afraid that I won't be here, and he'll have to deal with my father. Someone who has a lot... Just a few weeks ago, he paid some poor fella to come up here and request a bit more time to pay back his debt. That's why I snapped at you like that. I thought he'd done it again. That's kind of you. This mess with Mr. Okadibo over at the Neon Mining League has really thrown me off my game. No, no. The least I can do after barking at you like some junkyard dog is giving you an explanation. Mr. Okadibo owes a substantial debt to Keltcor. I've given him more than enough time to try and come up with the money. But my father's patience is running out. Frankly, I don't know how much longer I can stall. You'd be willing to help out. That's awfully kind. Just because I work for a megacorp doesn't mean I don't have a heart. Saburo, uh, I mean, Mr. Okadigo, he's one of the nicest people you'll ever meet, especially in this city. He really needs help, but he's too proud to accept any money from me. Maybe he'd listen to someone like you? Oh, that'd be... If you can get his debt off my conscience, I'd be grateful. It's... And don't worry about payment. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. McKenna, oh... We're a tech company that primarily specializes in mining operations. We handle everything from individual standalone units to fully engineered outpost systems. Basically, if it might not be as glamorous as some of the other corps in this building, but... When he opened the shop, he outfitted it with equipment from our company. Spent a bundle of cash. He obviously business hasn't been going well, because he's fallen way behind. Opening a mining business on a world almost entirely covered in ocean probably wasn't... I suppose he intended to cater to travelers that were passing through our system. But... Because my father has a ridiculous sense of humor, and I can't stand the name Clover. I mean, seriously, our family's Irish, for God's sake. I don't think he could have possibly been more on the nose with that name. Ha ha. For now, but let's not mistake my position for what it really is. He's set to retire in a few years, and I'm his only next of kin. But I'm guessing he's not sure if I'm ready to take... So he shuttles me out here for two reasons. One, to flash a friendly face for our clients he flies out. And two, gets his firebrand of a daughter as far away from him as possible. Nice visiting with you. Can't talk. I've got a de- Sorry, I'm busy at the moment. What do you want to do for the break later? I don't know, but I gotta get I'm out of here. I'm glad I ended up at Guild Court. It's been non-stop Ms. interruptions this morning. Like I'm that. not spending another break in my guest. No time to chat. Are you lost? Cause any trouble? Like and I'll drive you straight to Lockheed. You know what, screw it. <laughs> yeah, what? Is this important? Let me save you some time. If you're here for a job, we're not hiring. If you're here about the conduction grid tour, we shut it down a year ago. Good. If you were, you'd be the twelfth person I've turned away this year. Look, I'm sorry if I'm blowing up at you, but I've... I'm afraid that things aren't going terribly well around here. I wish that was the case. Fact of the matter is, we're barely treading water. The conduction grid went online almost 75 years ago. And since then, we haven't developed a single groundbreaking innovation. At this point, the money we're taking in as a power utility barely covers the waste that's going on in the research and development division. <laughs> You'd think that, right? The problem is that Brayson Bayou, administrator Bayou's brother, is currently heading up the R&D division. I swear to you, the man doesn't know the first thing about power systems or electromagnetic technology.
I actually need our CEO's approval for that. And so far, look, I'm running out of options. No one above me seems to care what's going on, but I'm willing to take a chance. I have a full report on Brayson that I want to send to Administrator Bayou, but I don't know if he can be trusted. What do you think I should do? You know what? You're absolutely right. I can't... Hey, look. Uh, thanks for helping me. If there's anything else you need, any questions at all? Genodyne was founded in 2232 by the original designer of the conduction group. Working from her facility in Neon, it took her almost 25 years to get the... That was Genodyne's first and last. The span above the city is outfitted with a specially developed electromagnetic... When a lightning discharge hits the span, the energy is instantly distributed across... The energy is then transferred through a series of polyphasic capacitors and rectifiers to ensure all of the negative and positive... At this point, the energy is clean, and it gets stored in massive storage cells in Neon's underbelly, from which it's parceled out. That's an excellent question, and the answer... The conduction grid is only effective in lightning-rich environments. That's why Volai was chosen as its primary developer. Genodyne has always hoped to adapt the grid's absorption technology for other applications, but... It was great speaking with you. The way things out of... I don't have time for this. Talk to my secretary if you need something. If you'll excuse me, I have a deadline to meet. Haven't met our CEO, Mr. Arada. Me either. He's never around. Can't talk, I've got a deadline coming up. If you'll excuse me, I have a deadline to meet. This is my happy place. Is that weird? This is some serious firepower. I call this place a one-stop kill shop. Catchy, right? Hey, you look like someone who craves Syria. Well, don't sweat it, I've got you. <laughs> oh, man. You see, I had you all figured out the moment you walked into my... I said to myself, Matthias, that looks like the kind of person who blow a hole in the wall to get to their goal. I'm talking military-grade, state-of-the-art weapons out. Hang on there, partner. I'm just getting to the best... Imagine being completely surrounded by Crimson Fleet pirates, with nothing but a magstorm and a few hundred rounds. You, my friend, are perched on the edge of infinity. And Core Kinetics would love to come along for the ride. So what do you say? Hey, what can I say? Some people like wine, others like beer. <laughs> In the end, you're just... Let's get you tooled up. Wait till you add one of the... All right, well, don't be a stranger. No time to chat. If you're looking for some firepower, talk to Matthias. He'll help you out. What? I'm working here.
the gangs can keep from killing each other, so I have a good day. I think I got them. What do you call them? Pawns? Yeah, I got pawns. You know I went to chef school, the same exactly where I saw myself.